Hello everybody, my name is Miss Retribution and in today's video, since last video I did a review of what I thought the movie sort of online ordinal scale was going to be, I decided, hmm, why not do a video of everything wrong with it before the movie comes out. Though this is my opinion, I still thoroughly enjoy the anime. It's just mainly season one that ruined it for me, but season two rekindled it, like I said in the video before this. So first off, I would like to say, obviously a video game you're trapped in is perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it. I like the plot line on that. But already making him OP from the start and knowing everything about the game, though he was a beater, is understandable. But there's other beaters, so what makes him super special? I don't know. And then Asuna, she was really cool. I really loved her. She was powerful from the start, she was independent, and she was independent when she was with her guild until she met Kirito, and then she started opening up more, and she started depending and changing and starting feeling more emotional. And she kind of changed from being independent and strong-minded woman that I loved about her. I still love her, but not as much. And it's kind of funny how the guild master was the one who was behind it. Nobody realized it. Which I thought was kind of funny. Though I un can understand it. And then obviously the whole scene where <laughs> Kirito, obviously he's a beater, right? But this other man in Elfheim Online was the ruler of it. And he had that world created for Asuna. And obviously I thought it was ridiculous. Okay. We'll get it. Asuna's the main character in the in a way in season two. She's trapped up in there waiting for Kirito. And he, Kirito sees the picture because he goes and he goes to his friends and his friends show him the picture and give him the video game copy. It's not the greatest, okay? You see a picture and you automatically say, it's Asuna. I know it's her. But how funny would it have been if it wasn't really her, okay? I thought it would have been funny, like a plot twist right there. You look like Asuna, but wait a minute, and seeing your face up close, you're not Asuna. But really, the boss battle between him and the man who created Alfheim Online was kind of sad to watch, honestly. Especially for Asuna. <laughs> the whole point being is that he's a beater. He beat the other guy who owned Sora Online. He beat him easily. And so in Alfheim Elfheim Online, he has issues and has difficulty with it. Come on, really? Don't, don't do that. It's not cool. It just ruined that for me. But also, what kind of ruined it was Yuki dying. It was not fair, okay? I don't care how the wiki says that she died. I don't want to believe it. Yuki was a strong character, and I don't care how people say if, you know, Kirito had his dual sword, he could have beat her. He wasn't trying to be a douchebag to Yuki because she was dying. Okay, nobody knew she was dying. Okay, she didn't tell anybody. She didn't want it to get clingy with Asuna. Nobody knew except her guildmates. So obviously, Kirito could have just been doing it to have fun. He couldn't have. He could have done that, but who cares? He lost to her. And as I said before in the last video, there are some people who are going to be better than you. Kirito is not going to be the best. Obviously, he is not going to always be the top dog. And I'd love it if in Ordinal Scale, they kind of shifted it and made kind of somebody else the main character overall on top of Kirito. Like, say, in Ordinal Scale, Yuna or Asuna become the main character instead of being Kirito because I'm tired of seeing him be the top dog in the whole series. Yuki was top dog when she beat him, and then she died. Which was BS, okay. She, I wish she was Yuna. I don't know if she is or not. But that'd be cool if she was. And I'm kind of tired of hearing all the time that, you know, Asuna always complains and is clingy to Kirito and overprotective of Kirito. He's a man. He can do things on his own. You can make him bento boxes for Pete's sake. But please, for the love of God, stop calling his name every 10 seconds. It's not being so freaking affectionate almost every minute of every second next to him. It's like she can't be without him. I know you're in love. Love is a powerful thing. But I'd like to see it become more of a relationship that, how do I say it? That 
in a way, Jalal and Urza had. Because Urza was a strong, independent woman. She didn't always depend upon Jalal. And Jalal, he didn't give Urza the first kiss because he said he was engaged. But we all know deep down he's engaged to Urza. And he's not going to kiss her until he marries her. But no, 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 no. We had to make this way too mushy and kind of mash it up. And just be, let's put all this love and affection into Asana. Make her super clinging and overprotective. Make her an independent woman, okay? I'm tired of seeing women in anime become dependent upon the man. And whenever they're independent, they lose it when they fall in love. I want them to still be independent. They can be lovey-dovey, but they can be independent in themselves. Kind of like what Asuna did when she was with Yuki and they had to go fight that boss and that whole guild came. And then Kirito came to help Asuna in the Sleeping Nights. I'd like to see that Asuna. But yeah, that's my kind of my opinion upon the whole thing, like everything that was wrong with it. Believe me, there's a lot of things that are right with it. I'll do a video on that one, like everything that's right with it. But for right now, I just wanted to do everything that was wrong with it to just give my opinion. I still thoroughly enjoy Sword Art Online. It's one of my favorite animes. I mean, I don't hate it. There's just some things I wish that didn't happen or didn't like change into that. But this has been Miss Retribution. If you like the video, comment favorite, like, and subscribe, and share with your friends. And comment down below what you think is wrong with the anime and what you think is right. It doesn't matter if you don't think anything's wrong with it. I just want to get your opinion. So it's been Miss Retribution, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.